Hello, everyone. Now I'll start to teach you Tangy Bowl. It's in a very simple way. You can practice at home every day. Tangy Bowl is a very good exercise. It's good for all age and all lives. If you don't have Tangy Bowl, you can use the basketball ball or medicine ball, even plastic ball. All the ball you can call Tangy Bowl. Movement 1. Seeking the pearl in the dragon's nest. Roll the ball left and right. In horse stance, move the waist towards the left and then towards the right. As you move your waist from side to side, rotate the ball in your hands at each side of your body. The ball is held at belly height, button height. This exercise is good for activating the belt meridian and can also help with weight loss around the waist. Movement 2. A pair of dragons play with a pearl. Roll the ball forward and backwards. In horse stance, roll the ball forward in the vertical plane and then backwards towards the body. The hands wrap around the ball to roll it. Use your legs and waist to help transfer the power to the arms to roll the ball. This movement exercises the lower abdominals. Movement 3. A pair of dragons keep the pearl. Roll the ball left and right, making two concentric circles. In horse stance, hold the sides of the ball and rotate it in small circles in the vertical plane. First, rotate the ball forward and away from the body, then rotate it back towards the body. Use your legs and waist in this exercise, not just your arms. This movement is good for your shoulder joints and the hips. Movement four. The wind shakes the lotus leaf. Circle the ball horizontally left, then right. In horse stance, circle the ball in the horizontal plane, first towards the left side, then circle towards your right. The ball is circled at about belly button height. As you circle the ball, shift your weight between the legs. This movement is good for the hips and the knees. Movement 5. 
Fairchild presents the treasure. In both stands, circle the ball left and right. In both stands, face to your left and hold the sides of the ball. Circle the ball vertically forward, then backwards. Then turn to your right and do the same. When the ball is furthest away from your body, your body shifts to your front leg. As the ball moves closer to your body, your body weight shifts to the back leg. This movement exercises the legs, making them strong and also the back. Movement six, pick the herbs, refine the elixir. In horse stance, carry the ball and down. In horse stance, circle the ball in the vertical plane in front of the body. Firstly forward and then backward. Raise and lower your body by bending your knees in each rotation. This movement is good for strengthening the lower abdomen it is also good for the rectum and can help with constipation. Movement 7 a dragon spinning Tai Chi, revolving the ball left and right in the Tai Jitsu. In horse stance, hold the ball on the right side of your body with the right hand on top of the ball and the left hand on the bottom. Push the ball in a vertical circle towards your left side. As the ball reaches your sh left shoulder height, rotate the ball in your hands. Finish circling towards your left by holding the ball on your left side at about shoulder height. Then start circling the ball towards the right and mirror the same movement you did before. As you circle the ball, shift the weight between the legs. This movement is good for the kidneys and makes the whole body strong. Movement eight, the stars turn around, curving nine times. Tai Chi ball left and right around the neck. In horse stance, rotate the ball to your left side as in the previous movement. Then as you rotate the ball again, bring it around the back of your head with your weight on the left leg. Then circle the ball to the right as in the previous movement. And as you circle it again, circle the ball around the back of your head. Keep repeating these movements. This movement is good for the shoulders and neck. It can help office workers who sit at a desk for long periods.